In our handpan playing, we usually combine those movement patterns that we already master. And one approach to find new playing ideas or to widen our style of playing is to get some new movements into our fingers or better into our brain. Once we have access to a variety of movement pattern, we will arrive at a point where it starts that the finger follows our ideas and not the ideas follow our fingers. That's what we call playing freedom. Here are some patterns that will help to acquire a certain independence. First, a pattern that's based on three. The right hand plays the ding. One and two and three and 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 now the same but the left hand plays the ding. One and two and three and 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 Now the first challenge. We combine those two on the fly. Probably your right hand will insist to keep the ding rhythm going. Sounds like that. In this case, tell it who is a master and who is a servant. Pay attention that the hand that plays the ding does the second hit, then it should go by itself. One, two. Once you can do that, you won't have problems with that. It is the same, but what the ding hand did, now the tone field hand does. And what the tone field hand did, now is the job of the ding hand. Or, with other words, the tone field hand does the second hit. Now we let the tone field hand go around.
als Wasser. Now we make our three beat bar a four beat bar. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Again playing on the left side of our instrument and then on the right using the respective hand pattern. And now the ding hand plays the ding and the tone field alternating. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And finally, the tone field hand goes around. So again, slowly. By the way, I can even use the same tone field with the right and the left hand looks and sounds like this.
so I don't have to say the tone field or even the ding is reserved only for the ding hand. I can use the tone field hand freely over the entire instrument. So, I hope you found this lesson helpful. Don't miss the next one. It is certainly the best of the entire series.